Three four one four one five nine two six five three five eight nine seven nine three two three eight four six two six four three three eight three two seven. Okay, one. we get it. You can memorize all the numbers of pi. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How do you do it? I I adopt the technique done by Tony Buzan. For those of you who don't know who Tony Buzan is. He was the one who essentially popularized the mind mapping technique. So, how did you use his technique? Okay, there's actually three techniques involved here. The first technique is called chunking or partitioning. Mm -hmm. Number two? Number two is called image association. And lastly? And the lastly, you have to tell a story about the numbers. Okay, so could you please elaborate on chunking? Okay, chunking. They are all together like 40 or 50 numbers. What I did is that I break them down into different parts. Okay, it could be four, five, or six. So, number two, image association. Could you please elaborate? Okay, it, it, it been researched that people can remember image better than numbers. So, it, for every number, is represented by an image. Mm. So, what were the images you used for each digit? So, zero represents a ball. Mm -hmm. One represents a stick. A stick. Okay. A two represents a swan. A swan. <laughs> yep. A three looks like an inverted heart. A, a horizontal heart. Yep. And a four is like the top of a boat, a yacht. A yacht. Yep, and a five is like a fish hook. A fish hook. Yep, a six is like a golf club. A golf club. Yep, and a seven, you are pretending that you are on top of a cliff. Yeah. Okay, and the eight is the glasses. Okay. It's the glasses. Yep, and the last one, the nine, is like a tree. Okay, a tree. <laughs> okay, yep. <laughs> so, technique number three. Storytelling. Yes, from that number, I'm going to tell a story. For example, uh, the first set of four numbers, 3.141 is straightforward. Everyone knows that pi is 3.141. Mm -hmm. The next four numbers, I'm going to make a story. The number was 5926. Six. So the first number was, there was five. a hook, hook on the tree. Mm -hmm. And I can imagine there's a swan hitting a golf club. Hitting a golf club. Okay. Yes. And the second story was that it was another, I can see another hook. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then I saw a heart and then there's another hook below it and there's a glass on it and they are also on the tree. So the, un the, quick, the number that I remember was five, yeah. three, five, eight, nine. Okay. And the third story was, I can imagine myself on the cliff. So it's seven. Then there's a tree on the cliff. And on the tree itself, there are three items. There was a heart, a swan, and a heart. So the number is 79323. Okay, so you use all these techniques to memorize a long string of numbers. Yes, yeah, true. So I don't think you need us to keep telling you stories on how to memorize a long string of numbers or pi. I'm sure you can come up with your own creative stories. And you can assign your own images to the digits. You can create your own stories and they'll be better for your memory in fact. That's right. Do you have anything to add? Okay, if you want to use this technique, keep on practicing and become very good as the time goes by. Mm. Thanks for watching. Stay productive and efficient. And don't forget to do it the Ong's way.